I, I bought a pair of Axiom speakers because a close friend recommended them. To me, what makes them really great and the reason that I like them is they don't really sound like speakers. They kind of sound like music. The shame of it is, in this day and age, music has become such a sort of a cloistered listening through earbuds or, you know, I mean, my kids listen to everything through earbuds. And I think I've kind of instilled with them with having, having the, the uh, Axiom stuff in my house that there's something a lot more you're missing here that you've got to sort of pull those earbuds out of, out of your uh, ears and, and listen to things on a, a wider spectrum. When we started to develop the Axiom wireless system, what we wanted to make sure of was compatibility with the widest range of devices and systems possible. The one thing that we're really unhappy with with many of the wireless solutions out there, whether they be Bluetooth or AirPlay, etc., is that in many cases they lock you into a single system. And that really doesn't work in a world where people are using many different devices, tablets, smartphones, um, and they may have music uh, on, on their home computers or on, on a NAS or a home server of some sort. What we've come up with with a system that can pretty much access your music wherever it, wherever it resides or you can play your music from any standard smartphone or tablet. The dominant feature of it is, is the grill because after all, it's, it's a device for radiating sound. And the grill is customizable. It comes white, black, and chrome. And uh, customizable is also the top, that from wood veneer to prints to anodized aluminum, it could be made to specific customer's requirements. I was inspired by, by a handbag, like something that's, that's portable. That's why you will see that the bottom of it uh, appears to float above the surface. I like the simplicity of it, that looking from the user's side, where it will be viewed and listened to, it's, it's quiet and pared down to its primary feature, and that's to radiate sound. One of the things we've included is a native hotspot mode for the speaker, which means it, it creates its own Wi-Fi network when it's not in range of a usable network. We look closely at what the majority of companies are doing, and, and Bluetooth is a very popular format, mainly because people are used to using Bluetooth with their, with their smartphones, for instance, and it's, and it's a standard that's widely available. However, the audio quality is seriously limited and being a company focused on excellent audio quality we didn't want to make that sort of compromise you can actually have multiple users connect to the system at one time and you know and play musical roulette with your friends everybody choosing something on a different device this is something that is impossible to quickly and seamlessly do with a bluetooth system one of the protocols that our system has available is something called UPnP which is a an open standard which many devices can, can supply music over. For instance, Android-based smartphones and tablets, this is very easily available in not only native apps in some cases, but different free apps that are available for the Android system. iOS devices are able to play over the AirPlay standard, which means that you're also allowed to, or it is possible to play uh, from any computer running iTunes or having an iTunes music library. Anybody that has a large music collection is probably not able to put that entire collection on their smartphone, so they have to select albums and tracks that they want to listen to. That means that a lot of people have a computer, a NAS, network accessible storage, or a network hard drive somewhere in their home that has a vast music library. We wanted our system to be able to directly tap into that and through the use of both a web-based user interface and customized apps for Android and iOS devices, we have a way that you can directly access all of those music files. No special setup has to be done, nothing has to be run on, on the computer side or the NAS side. It simply will pull those music files using the library structure that you've already created. As so-called HRA or high resolution audio files become more popular with uh, some consumers, 
we wanted to make sure that our system was future-proof. So we have the ability with the Axiom wireless speaker to play resolutions up to 24-bit 192 kilohertz, which is pretty much the highest resolution file format that's commonly available. On the hardware front, we looked very carefully at the typical solutions for wireless connected loudspeaker systems. And most solutions are based upon an integrated microprocessor, which is running a very, very dedicated operating system only to do the functionality that that system needs. The problem with those types of systems is there's a limit to how much can be changed in that software if, for instance, a new audio format were to appear tomorrow. We decided to go in a slightly different route, which was to include a fully functioning computer running a full operating system that's simply dedicated and optimized for the playback of audio files. And connected to that computer system, we have a state-of-the-art DAC or digital to analog converter uh, to make sure that we can process those files with a minimum amount of distortion and noise. The computer solution we selected is extremely popular amongst electronics hobbyists. It's called the Raspberry Pi. It was originally developed for use as an educational teaching tool for teaching elementary and high school kids computer programming, something that's becoming a little bit of a lost art in school systems across the world. We looked at this system and the hobbyist usage of this small microcomputer and found that it has far more horsepower than we'll ever require to do the audio processing for our loudspeaker. Because it's a computer, we have far more flexibility. And we're, we're one of the only companies in the industry to utilize that system. It came down to an oval for to, for portability reasons, um, absence of um, sharp vertical edges um, to create the illusion of object being actually smaller than it is. Small is a wonderful thing. Small is convenient, small is portable. But small when it comes to audio quality with a loudspeaker system is actually the opposite of what you want. The smaller the system, the more limited in volume output you're going to be and the more limited you are in base quality and base output. Many companies use very sophisticated signal processing algorithms to try and make the speaker system sound bigger than it is, play louder than it is, and have more bass than it actually does. All of these things really amount to acoustic trickery. Our view of this type of solution is to start first with the best loudspeaker system that can be put into a package that's not unwieldy and not huge. And then instead of trying to run that on a tiny little five or 10 watt per channel power amplifier, we decided to put a real quote unquote amplifier inside that system. So our amplifier, unlike most on the market, is actually two times 75 watts. It's a 150 watt amplifier, which is pretty much unheard of with these types of wireless speaker systems. The result is that you have a speaker that's full range, gives you room filling sound, gives you excellent bass quality, and is going to be loud enough for even having a party in your living room. With our system, because it incorporates this internal Wi-Fi hotspot, you don't even have to worry about getting the system on your home Wi-Fi network to start using it. Take it out of the box, plug it into the wall, take your smartphone, tablet, or any other device and click connect. And now you can stream to that Axiom speaker system instantly. If you want to put it on your home network, it's as simple as going to a website, which everybody knows how to do, entering in your network identifier information and clicking save. And now that system is accessible on the network and can access any music that's on any computer also on that same network. One limiting factor with most wireless speaker systems is that 
they have to sit on a shelf and they can't go anywhere. You can't take them with you because they need to be plugged into the wall. So we looked at having an optional battery pack system using state-of-the-art lithium batteries that actually allow long play time with the unit running at full power. So if you want to take the, the speaker out to your backyard, out to a picnic, out to the beach with you, you can easily do that with the battery pack option.